Hi guys, welcome to Telepathic Tarot where I have a collective reading and it was low-key based off a channeled song. I was literally about to start another reading after doing a channeling and out of nowhere I started hearing the song If We Ever Meet Again by Timberland featuring Katy Perry. So let's get into those messages and we'll do this reading. So um... What's somebody like you still doing on the market, okay? Why aren't you curled up at home with the one? You're outside living your best life when I need you inside being my wife or hubby. Make it fit your situation. But someone has seen you. Someone has had some kind of encounter with you. And this is what they're feeling off of just the first interactions or off of just seeing you. What's your name? What are you drinking? I think I know what you're thinking. Baby, what's your sign? You tell me yours, I'll tell you mine. Like, yo, someone wants to know you inside and out. They feel connected to you on a deep level or that's what they want. They want to know you to the point that they can literally read your mind. I don't know if they're sensing that. Hey, this could be a spiritual connection because I don't know, there's a spark, okay? There's chemistry, y'all are just vibing, okay? I've got aura playing in the background. You like their aura, they like your aura. But overall, they want to take you off the market because you're too damn fine. You're the whole package. You're just a great vibe, great personality. It's mad that no one has swept you off your feet right now. Someone's hoping they bump into you and meet you again. They won't let you get away without making a memorable impression on you. So um, say if this is someone who saw you in a regular location that they visit and they did not make their move. They are thinking, yo, if they swing by that place again and they see you, they're, they're not fumbling the bag again. They're going to make an impression. They're going to swap some kind of information. They're going to get connected to you in some kind of way, okay? They're not letting you slip through their fingers. That's the vibe it's given. You spark something within them they've never felt before. They're out here daydreaming about you and, you know, what it would be like to um, date you, connect with you. But hmm. let's see what else we want to get through. I thought I was honestly done with the love messages, but <laughs> Spirit said no. We got more to talk about, okay? And the world. <laughs> Interesting, because I've literally seen that today. Eight of Swords, so hmm, you got people in their head about whether or not they should approach the Empress, the Queen of Cups. Like, I don't know if they're thinking, not that, because you're humble you're very grounded and balanced not that you're out here thinking that you're better than anyone it's just an energy of you're just so powerful you're just so unique authentic where people are like mm, am i enough to be with you are they gonna check all the boxes that requires or just meet all the requirements it takes to date you to connect with you because you look like you're just in a steady flow of enlightenment or just you're navigating life quite fluidly you're easily flowing through certain cycles whether it's you need to close up cycles or you're stepping into new cycles okay you could be okay maybe someone is thinking about traveling with you thinking about flying you out thinking about getting you alone in a new environment where you guys can be your free authentic selves but um yeah someone is in their head on whether or not they can come and approach you they want to because they feel like the love that you give is just out of this world hella unique they look at you and natural beauty you've got a nice body you got fashionista kind of icon trend setting kind of when it comes to putting your aesthetic together and hey you could have a nice <laughs> i forget the word but basically boobs you got nice boobs <laughs> they sit hella pretty oh my gosh yeah you're very intelligent you got a good head on your shoulders okay someone sees you as very intuitive very knowledgeable they feel like you can read energies you can read auras you it's you easily get on with people because you're just able to relate and connect with people but overall you're being highly desired at this time 
someone is undressing you with their eyes they want to you know eat you out i can't even lie with those fruits sitting right there oh my god the nine of pentacles yo you and oh my god don't play the empress the empress you see that the empress someone mm, okay you are looking extra good and you're just out here being independent you're getting to your bag you're being a boss you're being an entrepreneur you're being very mature enlightened intelligent taking care of yourself like you're not relying on nobody you're very wise you're very intuitive like yo that's why you got people nervous on whether or not and with you, it's like you don't have any, I don't want to say baggage, but you don't have any, um, what is that? I can't even explain it. You know when someone has like exes lingering in the background, like when they just have cycles that have not closed. With you, when you connect with somebody, you literally come with no unfinished business. All your business is attended to, finished, closed, moved on, next chapter. And that's what has people intimidated because they can never come and play in your energy that they've closed all their cycles. With that intuition of the high priestess, you will see through people's deception because it requires a lot of effort and attention to build a connection with you. So it's going to be obvious if people are preoccupied elsewhere because they're not gonna be able to pull their own weight in the connection that's how people know that they can't come in your energy and pretend that you know they don't have hoes on the back burner they don't have exes vining for them they don't have unfinished business because you will be able to intuitively peep that shit and you enjoy being in your singlehood so you're not gonna hang on to anybody you're not gonna cling on to anybody you're not gonna settle and that's what has folks intimidated because they know when they step to you they have to match your energy they have to have a good head on their shoulders and they have to have finished all their unfinished business they have to have closed cycles that aren't really going anywhere that aren't really giving them prosperity but either way baby you're being noticed someone sees how gorgeous you are they see how financially independent you are and hey they may want to be a provider for you i don't know but they definitely admire how you take care of yourself they're feeling it they're feeling it <laughs> oh my gosh that is a lot but actually no it's only two that's brilliant because that's what we literally needed so y'all are wifey material y'all y'all are hubby material we literally said it someone has seen you and they're like why are you outside i need you back in the crib with me i need you cuddled up on the sofa i need us vibing and literally living our lives together okay someone wants a victorious change or just they want to come towards you charging giving you their proposal their offer and they're just really hoping that you're going to say yes and y'all can ride off into the sunset together have some fur babies build a real family who the hell knows but someone sees you and they're very eager very determined to connect with you because they feel like you can really make them happy they feel like you have that energy where you know how to make a house a home like wifey hubby material they want to build with you you bring them a lot of joy and satisfaction on top of that you look gorgeous okay i don't know if this is someone that you're finna meet in the gym or you're going to meet this person at a time where you are very much focused on your own self-development, whether that be getting grounded, meditating, or even just hitting the gym. Like, you will literally be very into your self-care. You may not even be paying any real attention to any admirers. And it's just, this person's just going to come out of nowhere and knock you on your ass, but in a good way, okay? In a good way. They see you they respect you, they want to love on you, they want to value you, and the fact that you're very spiritual, you're into spirituality, I'm just getting the vibe that it turns this person on, they're fucking with it, they love the, yeah, you're spiritually gifted and tapped in, the fact that, hey, you can enlighten them and help them tap into their own spiritual gifts, 
But either way, someone sees you as the whole package, okay? You're book smart, you're street smart, you're money business minded, okay? You know how to attract abundance, you know how to build wealth. And on top of that, you look good. You take care of not only your um physical well-being, but also your mental well-being. You always make sure that you are cleansed, you're grounded, you're balanced, your emotions are in check and your intuition is not cloudy it's like i just can't go over this vibe if someone sees that you really it's given that energy of like you're the oracle but someone sees that you really have a good head on your shoulders and they would love to collaborate with you they would love to have you on their team because you are literally the oracle the same way that you keep yourself grounded and you keep yourself 10 steps ahead of the game that's what you're going to help them do. And they're like, I need to come through. I need to communicate. I need to talk to you. I need to let you know how I feel. I don't even know if this is someone who's seeing you online, okay? I don't know if you're an influencer or you're just showing off. You know, you got a nice body. You're showing off your body in the gym. Or you're just, you know, you're a fashionista. You're showing off your trendy outfits or you're a makeup artist. I don't know. You could be online. They could be seeing the work you're putting out there. And yeah, they're just attracted to what you do. But overall, someone wants to come towards you with some kind of communication, okay? Oh, shut up. No. Yo, we literally said they feel connected to you on a deep spiritual level. Like, you could be awakening someone spiritually. And look at that karmic, okay? And that effortless. Well, with that, with that effortless, um, I'm kind of getting like people not wanting to put in effort like i get it's also talking about how the connection will be effortless to come together when you guys put into it but um uh, remember how i was talking about like this person knows that they can't come to you with any karmic cycles pending with anything just hanging on the sidelines they can't come to you with an energy like they don't have the effort to put into the connection because you will fully just leave them in the dust you will leave them in the past i don't know if this is someone that you have already left because you just feel like yo they're not giving you what you want and they're using the separation as a time to get in alignment so they could potentially see you again reconnect with you again show you how they have matured and they do want to they want to give you the respect and the commitment and the dedication that they know you deserve okay you definitely have someone that's just reminiscing about you thinking about how easy it was to get to know you this is if you already know them but even through like having an initial conversation people can get the vibe or this particular person can get the vibe that yo it's so easy to get to know you and they look forward to the potentiality of building something committed and solid in the future because they feel like when it comes to having a partner that can collaboratively work with them with you it's just all in alignment it's just effortless and they feel like yeah this is my twin flame okay obviously they don't want to just let that out on the offset but that's what spirit is letting us know that they're feeling like yo they feel like this is a deep soulmate connection you are literally the yin to their yang and they know that they have to close out certain cycles in order to come towards you because if they come with the comics in the background, you're going to see straight through with the High Priestess. Like, yo. You're going to see straight through any half ass proposals. Like, you don't have time for people who aren't all in. Because maybe when you love, you love hard and you're all in. So, you really need other people to match that same energy. <laughs> What's definitely coming through is you got a lot of, um, oh my God, literally courting man, uniform professional male. So, um, hey, I don't know if you're attracting someone who's also a fashionista that likes to dress up, but either way, they're very committed to their career. I don't know if this is someone that you're going to meet within your own career, your own work arena. Let me get some water. Someone could be a little intimidated by the fact that you do attract a lot of attention, okay? For someone to date you, and I don't know, I also want to say they too attract a lot of attention, but I guess maybe they're not used to dating people of your caliber in the sense that you 
are self-assured you are very confident you're not needy you're not codependent on top of that you have your own financial stability you're very intellectual like you just whoever this person is they are very stable they have their accolades in society and you match them okay i don't know if they're just used to dating people that are a step below them but with you yeah they may attract the same fame and admiration and love like you but for some reason they're just intimidated that because they know you won't yeah i guess that's why they're intimidated because you have all these options literally throwing themselves at you and throwing all these gifts or opportunities to do exciting things with them or just literally just like basically people just floating all the good stuff they could do for you Whoever this person is, they know that you're not just going to cling on to them or hold on to them for the wrong reasons. They always have to be on their A game. They always have to be pulling their weight in the connection. They always have to be there in the present time within the connection, okay? They can never slip because what another, what you won't do, another person will do. They know that you won't stand for just receiving the bare minimum and you will go to someone who will give you everything you need and desire so um yeah you have someone a bit shook up because you got a lot of options a lot of people want to court you at this time you're very abundant you're receiving a lot of gifts you're receiving a lot of offers to go outside and i guess this person is realizing why you are still single and on the market because you're picky <laughs> you're simply picky yeah that's what it is like oh you're like this is nice that you want to date me but mm, yeah it is what it is you are very mature okay you mm, someone sees you as very high value okay i don't know if your social status is about to skyrocket or if you're already within high society but that's how someone sees you they see you as like royalty they see you as real they see you as mature they see you as stable they see you as independent they see you as a socialite because i feel like you could come from humble beginnings don't take that if it doesn't apply to you but it's given this energy of you're able to adapt to any arena okay whether it be from ends the hood where you grew up or the corporate arena or even high society with the royals or politicians you know how to maneuver and adapt to any industry any environment and that's how you are able to make amazing connections overall someone just really admires your personality really admires the way that you operate through life if that kind of makes sense and i've also got the wall flower so maybe you've been overlooked in the past okay people it's an interesting one like you could be shy you could be more reserved and withheld and people don't really see off it's given this energy of like hidden in plain sight that's you people don't see off of the back that you have this strength that you have this aura because I don't want to say you have a resting bitch face, but I don't know, maybe there's something closed off about you, okay? But if you have been overlooked in the past, maybe you've just had to heal those feelings of not feeling worthy, if that kind of makes sense. Because, hey, like, say if you've been picked on as a teenager, sometimes you can carry that on into your adult life and you have to do that kind of healing. So I don't know, maybe that's something that you've had to deal with or even people from the past are surprised to see you now. Maybe this symbolizes you have gone through a glow up. You were someone who was more shy, timid, reserved, didn't mind standing in the background, but now you're outside, you're being seen, people are recognizing your beauty and they want a piece of you. They want to be associated with you, okay? Not that you were ever plain Jane, but no one is looking at you like Miss Plain Jane. People, if they ever thought you were Miss Plain Jane, they're asking themselves, what kind of big goggles, rose tinted goggles were they wearing? Because all they're thinking about right now is how you're a beauty queen. They want to communicate with you. And they feel like this is a spiritual connection where you help them grow. You've helped them awaken, okay? Ooh, you got new love coming towards you, baby. You got new love coming towards you. Someone is, they have a proposal. They have a proposal. They're tired of you being single. 
I don't know why they're tired of you being single. I don't know why. Maybe you're tired of being single and someone's coming in and they're like, yeah, I'm going to fix that for you. Oh my God, we literally said someone wants to fly you out. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got gas. I got gassed, okay? Literally, you are being single. People may want to get casual with you, but I, like we said, your top part, your royalty, your regal, you're not out here just casually giving yourself to people. I mean, if, if they're finna drop a bag, maybe you'll consider because your body, <laughs> girl's gonna get her rocks off somehow, right? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Anyway, you're just enjoying your singlehood, you're enjoying your freedom, and you're attracting someone who's going to show you the high life, who's going to give you the princess treatment, who's going to make it feel like every day's a vacation. You're always in your honeymoon era. They're definitely fantasizing about how they want to go travel the world, have fun with you in new environments, and they want to see you come alive, especially if you are more reserved and shy. They want you guys to go out of your comfort zone and experience first moments together. So like you can be in that childlike, free, exciting energy. But um, yeah, pack your bags, make sure your passport's up to date. Someone literally wants to travel, okay? Travel. You got a new love, someone that you don't even, okay. Just someone that you're not really familiar with or someone that you would even be surprised is still thinking about you, still feeling connected with you on such a deep level because you personally have put the relationship to bed because they're not really giving you what you desire. So, hey, you'd be very surprised to even know that, yeah, someone could have just been coming with open, casual, keeping their options open, not being committed. So if this is someone from your past that's coming through and they're completely changed because they've used that separation to do their healing and do their growth. I feel like you're going to be so surprised because that person could have been on some fuck shit and you weren't with it. You weren't my boy with it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But um, someone is lusting after you. Someone deeply desires you. But hey, I feel like I want to say they feel like it's love. If you knew them, they could have struggled with it thinking that it was just sex. But um, the time apart, the depth, the spiritual connection, the emotions, the love, like it's all just swirling within them. And they want to come towards you. And even if this is someone completely new, you've stirred a spark within them where they're looking at you and they're like, oh, damn, this this could potentially be long, long term. This should be something worth investing in. I don't want to let this opportunity pass me up. I don't want to waste no time. Chaser, instead of trying to convince the other party of your worth, redirect that energy into other areas in your life. Trust, relax, be patient, and surrender. So, yeah, you're not chasing nobody. You're not chasing nothing. If a situation is not giving to you, you're gonna have your turning point moment where, like, if, if it's karmic, if the love isn't easy, if no one is making the changes that are supposed to be made, like, you're not gonna fight nobody to change. You're not gonna fight nobody to love on you. You're gonna walk away and focus on other areas of your life, whether that be your emotional fulfillment within yourself, making sure that you're loving on yourself, making sure that you're staying healthy, that your foundation is solid, that you're investing in your career, that you're investing in your creative passions like someone sees that you're not pressed over love someone if you know them someone sees that you're not focused on them you're not focused on chasing the connection you're not focused on mending the connection you don't care if this is your twin flame if they're not gonna meet you halfway if they're not gonna act correct if they're not gonna be who you need them to be or new people in general like if they're not gonna match up what you need them to match up you're gone in the other direction you refuse to chase anything that is not matching your energy that's not aligning with you and that's why people are intimidated on whether or not they have what it takes to date you because you really have no time for the bs no time for the bs like nah <laughs> if someone's coming with the bs you you dead it you cut it off you let them know what time of day it is and 
they can't be playing in your playground oh stop it behave spirit said you may know this person but this could also reaffirm that someone has seen you they didn't take action towards you and like we said they want to see you again they're hoping you guys bump into each other but both of you have learned a lot about yourselves and understand the potential of your connection this reunion will be physical in nature so yeah you have learned a lot of lessons in love this person has also learned a lot of lessons in love and they want to come with you they want to connect with you but they want to connect with you outside of your usual environment that's the energy it's giving they want to meet on neutral grounds where you both feel comfortable to be your authentic selves okay they don't want none of the past whether that be the past with them or even the past with your own exes they don't want any past traumas or just past painful memories to interfere in what they are building with you moving forward so um yeah someone said they want to see you again and the universe is giving them that wish they're manifesting an encounter where you guys will bump into each other and you guys will have some kind of reunion okay all part of the plan the universe has brought you two together trust the journey even if you don't quite understand it yet oh my god literally it's all a part of the universe's plan okay you if you are just hella focused on yourself right now, you definitely could be out there exploring your options because, of course, you never want to keep yourself locked away from the world. But as you're exploring your options, you just may not be feeling like anyone is really connecting with you on a deep level or anyone takes all your boxes. I'll give you an example. Like, you can meet someone who you feel like you have a great connection with but maybe on the physical superficial side they're not ticking all your boxes and you kind of look at them like oh they they kind of just really be a great friend but at the same time you're confused because you've never really connected with anyone on this kind of deep level but like sexually the chemistry is not there for you it's that kind of energy like you're out there you're dating you're sampling your options but there's something lacking from all the options you meet spirit is saying hey that's that's just the plan because they are sending through the one that just they get your engines revving and they know how to speak to your emotions they know how to speak to your soul they know how to speak to your heart so um yeah you're definitely getting someone who matches you on an energetic level and who's also mature just like you baby okay and also emotionally available someone who isn't gonna want to be childish when it comes to love and romance because they're tired of being childish. They're tired of dealing with failed relationships. So we have attachment. Someone could definitely be feeling attached to you or you guys are going to feel hella attached to each other when you come into alignment and get to know each other. So get to know your attachment patterns so you can become more conscious in your romantic relationships and stop self-sabotaging. Yeah, I feel like that's what you both have learned. And that's what you both have healed, your fears of what has been blocking you off from connecting with people on like a deeper level or just being completely vulnerable and letting whoever this new love is. Like you're going to be in a great place where you've done your healing, you understand your triggers, you understand your own self-sabotaging habits. So when you get into this relationship, it's not going to be karmic, it's not going to be toxic and they're going to reflect that same energy of having done that healing where they know their triggers and they know when they can be self-sabotaging. And maybe it'll be a situation where you guys are open and you feel comfortable enough to talk about these triggers, talk about these self-sabotaging patterns so you both can be aware of how to not trigger each other if that makes sense and we also have unexpected events expect the unexpected something you don't see coming is soon to change your life a door that was closed is now open so for me yeah you could i don't want to say you've given up on love but you're not interested because the options are not the full package i don't want to say you're picky but you definitely have a high standard you definitely know exactly what you want and you've told the universe you're not gonna settle so respectfully can they send it through what you're asking for because as far as you're concerned like yo someone that's six foot big dick thick like you know <laughs> six figures it's not too much to ask for right as far as you're concerned you're being a very good soul <laughs> okay <laughs> you deserve to be gifted what you want but anyway anyway 
Um, <laughs> you are going to get exactly what you want, what you want. It's going to be so unexpected. You're not going to see it coming and you're just going to be like, this is what I've been waiting for. You're going to understand why all the past experiences did not work or why things did not pan out the way that you expected it to, especially if this is someone that you've been wanting to come correct and they've never been coming correct when you wanted them to. Like, it's just unexpectedly they're gonna pop out the blue and you're even gonna be surprised if this is someone from your past you're gonna be surprised that they're still on you that they still want you because they've really just been putting up a front that they could not care less <laughs> because that's that's their games that's what they like to do okay let me shuffle again but either way you got someone in their feelings and they're feeling attached over you i don't know if they're gonna become a bit possessive over you because they don't want you running away from them they don't want you to be taken from them but um mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ooh, someone online someone okay someone could definitely be watching your social media for sure, someone could be watching your pictures, watching the content you're putting out. There's something about social media and someone seeing you and they're just desiring to meet you in person. But um, yeah, someone is strategizing, they're planning, they're trying to, especially with that social media, they're trying to see what your interests are, they're trying to see what hobbies you're into, they're trying to see what you like, what music you're into, because they also, they want to plan the perfect date. Okay, someone's thinking about the perfect date that they can invite you on because they're aware that you have a lot of options and they want to stand out. They want to stand out. They don't want to be just one of your many, many conquests. You got someone that's definitely fantasizing and daydreaming about you and they're thinking about how they want to kiss you. They want to display PDA in public. They want to tease you okay <laughs> they are definitely thinking about how they want to tease you how they want to get you wet downstairs how they want to get you really really rock hard like yo okay there could be a lot of sexual tension and frustration going on right now but someone is just thinking about how yeah they are desiring you sexually, okay? They want to taste your lips. They want to suck in your lips. They want to bite your lips. They're just desiring you sexually. <laughs> That's what it's giving. One more card. Let's keep things open until we get to know each other better. So I feel like this is someone just... <sighs> There's always that little childish behavior, isn't it? Because it's just giving the energy of like, this person is all the way in, right? They definitely see you as the one that they want to build with, the one that they want to be with, be with long term. But there's still that fear of rejection. So um, yeah, they're going to leave it open. They're going to not at first let you know how deep they're feeling for you or how deep they're falling for you until they get some signs that you're falling too. So um, yeah, I guess it'll be nice as well because there's no pressure. There's no pressure. And when you're ready, well obviously if this is a masculine energy you're gonna you're gonna expect them to like dominate and lead the situation but they're gonna read the signs and when they pick up the signs that you are like in this for the long haul and you do want a commitment they're not gonna want to leave it open with you because we literally said it like they do fear someone taking you from them so this leaving it open is just it's an olive branch <laughs> okay that's all it is it's not gonna last long but overall they are very physically attracted to you if you have a curvy body they absolutely love it they feel like you are perfection there is nothing out of place when it comes to you and mm, you got someone just really desiring you really desiring you they've had their eye on you and yeah they want to come through and give you a love offer. Mm, that's exciting. <laughs> okay, let's do random pull. Problems with addictions or gambling, bad finances. Ooh, someone definitely doesn't want to like lose you and gamble you i don't know if this is someone from your past where they were struggling with addictions that they had to deal with or they just had to prioritize their career because their finances 
weren't as good and that's another reason why they didn't feel like they were worthy of dating you it's like someone just really having to focus on getting their life in order that's why they haven't been able to come to you as quickly as they would have liked to but they've definitely flipped that around they've definitely closed that cycle and you know they're ready to come towards you and confess someone has to tell you something okay and <laughs> they want to communicate okay especially if this is someone from the past who didn't give you what you needed like yo they want to ask for forgiveness. They want to compromise. They want you guys to work it out. They want to be honest and communicate how they truly feel about you because they've been sitting on a, is it a big piece of information or a bad piece of information? I don't even know. <laughs> bad boy of information. Lol. <laughs> Lol. Okay. Ignore me. But yeah, nah, they've just been sitting on some information that they need to share with you. So this is going to be our final deck. say let go of control issues yeah what's been causing a lot of stagnations or just preventing this person to come to you sooner is because they they're learning to let things effortlessly flow and fall into alignment but in the past they were being too controlling and i guess it's just because they didn't want you to judge them especially if they were going through hold on a second i have a phone call sorry guys but um yeah like they just they need to allow the connection the situation to flow they could have been just afraid of being judged afraid of you just looking down on them because they were going through whatever problems or you know how people just want to control how they're viewed in the situation instead of just showing up as their authentic self showing that they may be going through trouble or who, who the hell knows who the hell knows because we're not really tapping into that energy but either way they're letting go of those control issues okay and they're praying to the divine that they haven't wasted too much time trying to just not that not that it's wasting time getting their life in order but they just hope they haven't wasted too much time focusing on themselves and not putting the action into coming towards you okay spirit is saying this could be the one worth waiting for and divine timing is definitely at work when it comes to your love life like this is going to be so unexpected it's going to happen exactly how it needs to happen but you're about to meet the one someone's about to pop up and be like yo i want to take it's like someone just applying the right pressure yes they want to take you out on a date but they're applying the right pressure that makes them stand out from all the other options that have pursued you in the past. Chemistry, we literally said it. We literally said it. And this is supposed to be another Twin Flame card as well. Like, yo, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. The chemistry is there. Someone is sexually frustrated and they want to come towards you, but they have to be authentic. They can't be deceptive. They can't be breadcrumbing. They can't be holding out on their feelings. They can't be being dishonest about any past baggage, any past people that are causing interferences, any third parties. Like They have to come correct. They have to come honest. They have to come authentically. And if they're going to ask for forgiveness... They better say the whole truth, speak the whole truth, leave nothing out, okay? Because that will come back to bite them in the ass later. But overall, someone is desiring the hell out of you. They want you. They are lusting after you. They're thinking about how you just get them on a soul level. They enjoy communicating with you and they have something to get off their chest. So collective, that was your reading. I really hoped you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, join my familiar, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!